video. Uh, I am in Barrie with Carol. Just dropped Carol off at Walmart and I need to get five jugs of water. We're almost out at home. Just haven't had the opportunity to get up here with jugs to get more water. Uh, as, you, as a lot of you guys know, we are on a well system, but we prefer to drink um, reverse osmosis water and uh, it is way cheaper just to buy bottles as you need them and uh, I think it's like a hundred just over a hundred dollars for like 50 54 jugs and uh, it lasts us quite a few months so I think it only costs maybe three hundred dollars a year I guess I we've never actually put it down on paper and how much it costs for bottled water uh, for a year uh, if you got the reverse osmosis system the it's very expensive and then you have to continual continually um change the filters which is expensive so i think buying bottled water is like the ultimate thing you can do if you don't want to waste a lot of money and if if the machines if, and chances are they'll break down just after the warranty eludes you so we are now at the water depot and uh and we are in nice One, two, three, four, five, six jugs. We were empty, all right. Six jugs filled. So, next stop is bank. Start the engine. Start your engines, people. Um, so, yesterday, I did something kind of fun. I phoned the trips. A lot of you guys know who the trips are. They are uh, Steve, Kelly, and Eric, and they are Canadian YouTubers that just live south of me. Uh, I guess somewhere in Ontario. And uh, they have a cottage um, around the Perry Sound area. And one time we were talking and they were talking about this amazing pizza place uh in perry sound and of course i'm doing all these small town videos and i thought it would be fun to uh go to perry sound and do a video there and eat that that pizza place so i phoned them up yesterday and, and talked to them about all the places that they've eaten um uh and places that they recommend and uh so i got to talk to uh kelly wasn't there so it was just uh steve and eric so thanks, uh, Steve and Eric, for all your inside information. Um, I think one of the places is, oh, one of the places that you guys recommended, it's not open like early breakfast. It was open, I think they have breakfast from 11 till three, uh, but I wanna, uh, the way I'm gonna be doing my videos right now, I wanna do uh, like an early breakfast and then do a hike or a bike ride and then do a lunch and then that's the end of that video. Uh, again, during uh, one of my live shows, I think it was just for the uh, the members only uh, live show. Uh, I was kind of putting it out there that uh, my videos, especially the last one, Honey Harbor, was way too long. It should have been two videos. But I'm trying to figure out how to break it up. I don't want to do a part one, part two, because I, I just from experience, from seeing other people's videos, when they do a part one, part two. Uh, half the people watch part two. They uh, they think they've already seen everything in part one and now you're doing a part two and nobody wants to watch that. So I have to make them two completely separate entities in and of themselves. And uh, so I did a full itinerary, which was super helpful. So I started like a notes thing, uh, one of the digital notes thing on the side, had my maps up of Perry Sound, just typed in the word restaurant and found all the restaurants, looked at all their menus, looked at when they're open, when they're closed. So it was good uh, going on to all their websites and uh, trying to figure everything out. And then, and then I went on to All Trails, which is like a hiking, biking, 
adventure website. Uh, I think I, I think I got it on sale for like a, for a, it was either a year or two years for like sixty bucks. It's an app uh, that you can use on your phone and you can use it on your computer, and it's kind of fun on the computer because you can see everything very large. Uh, again, I did the all maps or all sorry all trails all maps. All trails uh, hovered over Perry Sound, looked for all the different trails they had. Uh, can can you have a bike on it? Uh, can you? Is it just a hiking path? Um, are you allowed dogs? Not to have a dog, but they'll. You can actually specify what you want on the app. If you want to go on a hike that has a waterfall on it, then you hit waterfall. If you're gonna, if you want to just hike, you hit hike. Uh, if you um, you know, if you have all these specifications, you just put them all in and it finds those trails uh, for you. It doesn't just show you all the trails and then you have to find out whether or not they have that information or have those features. So I found two along the waterfront, one's like three kilometers, one's like six or more kilometers, maybe seven kilometers. So I'll do the, the seven kilometer bike ride. Uh, if I have time, uh, I'll just go on a little adventure through the town, of course and uh, show you guys around Perry Sound. Beautiful town, been there before. I've been there many times. Uh, I, don't, I don't recall eating there except at like a Harvey's or a McDonald's when I'm passing through kind of thing up by the highway. Uh, rarely ever went right into the downtown area. Last year or two years ago, Carol, her parents and I went on this um, uh, Queen cruise and I think it was like a two hour cruise and, and it went through all these islands and stuff beautiful beautiful cruise i totally highly recommend it and uh so um i found some uh, i'll probably have to show people that cruise because i'm not i don't i doubt i'll be able to go on it i'm not, i'm not even sure if i'll have time to go on it but uh and again it's a really long cruise so uh again making the full itinerary so i started off with uh lunch bike ride or hike dinner and again, I actually found on the menu what the things I'm going to buy, how much it's going to cost, and I haven't figured out where I'm going to sleep yet. But uh, Rusty will, oh, Rusty always finds a spot. So right now I'm just going to go into the bank, but I'm going to have another sip of my coffee in my Yeti. These things are amazing. I'm not sure if you've ever seen a Yeti. They're very expensive. I think this was thirty dollars, but I poured my coffee in this uh, probably about forty-five minutes ago. And it's still stifling hot. Like, uh, if you have the lid closed, I've left the lid open this little bit on there uh, so that some of the heat escapes because it, it retains the super hot coffee. And I, I, I like to drink the coffee when it's not as hot as it's just coming out of the, the pot. So it's cooled down just a slight, just slight so I don't burn myself. And this little lid actually comes off it's, it's extremely hard to take off without taking this but it's on a magnet so it, it just there's no switch it's a magnet that's holding it down maybe i can't oh i can't pull it off so you can wash it uh properly and there's little drain holes and then that's a magnet and of course there's either steel or a magnet in here and then it snaps on and that's how it stays on which is awesome they're thinking all right but uh, again if you hate your coffee getting cold in the mornings when you're on your way to work or whatever get yourself a yeti because they are fantastic all right i gotta get my mask on go to the bank and uh then i had to pick up carol Okie dokie. I guess we gotta go pick up Carol. Right now. One more sip of my coffee. Ouch! It's still hot. How are you doing? Oh, hi. 
How was your shopping? Oh, well, you know what? I never uh, realized it before, but trying to push a buggy with one arm oh. and the way they have the aisles set up is not very conducive. You have to turn and turn and turn and you just can't go straight. Take your mask off maybe. Okay. So we can hear you. Okay. <laughs> All I hear was muffle muffle. Yeah, yeah. Muffle muffle. Muffle muffle. Anyway, so. So pushing a buggy with one hand. Why? I don't think anybody watching right now understands why you'd be pushing a buggy with one <laughs> hand. Oh, I just got a message. Missed call. Missed call. That was be me. Because I just wanted to. I, I kind of knew what door you had to come out. But I just wanted to make sure you were prepared to jump into so you just had to stop yes. uh, and stop traffic. But there was a good spot to pull over oh, okay. and not be in anybody's way. Awesome. Where's your hand sanitizer? That's right here. So, um, yeah. So, well, I had trigger finger surgery on Wednesday. That's why I had to push it with one hand. Trigger finger surgery, which is the sheath around a tendon that is causing your finger to lock, yeah. right? Yeah, not have full range of motion. And so I've been dealing with that for a year and a bit. And then finally, uh, because of COVID, just wasn't able to get the surgery done. And so right. Finally, now we got it done. Good for you. And that was the top secret hush hush moment because Carol didn't want to talk about it until after. So Wednesday, the reason, the main reason I was in Barrie was to drop Carol off at the hospital because I'm not allowed in the hospital. And uh, so I dropped Carol off and while I was there, I decided to zip over to the bike shop, get uh, a new, or a couple new tubes, then go and drop off the, um, or I guess mail out the postcards. And then I went back and picked up Carol. And then after I picked up Carol, we met Ben at Costco. We did a big shop for Ben, did a big shop for us. Uh, and Ben's all set for food and we were all set for food. And Carol's all set for me doing the dishes for the next six weeks. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it says on the thing. Honestly, not, not, she not said. Not six weeks, but 10 days I yeah. can't wash dishes. So I, I did the dishes before I went to Paul's house yesterday to go for a bike ride. And uh, when I got home, I think she had a dinner party because <laughs> there was a lot of dishes. And so I still have to do those because when I got home last night, I didn't want to, didn't feel like doing dishes. So uh, I'll have to do them now. But uh, so you got... You just got just a bunch of little piddly things for the cottage or, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so what's next? We have to go to the farm store and get some farm fresh eggs. Correct. And uh, we already got our roast, our prime rib roast for Father's Day on Sunday. We got that from Costco. Uh, we wanted a three bone um, chunk of meat, but they only had the two bone. The three rib. What did I say? Bones. Two bones. Okay. Well, they they're Ribs bones. Are bones. They are bones. But uh, yeah, three rib, prime rib, roast, roast. and that's uh, going to be a lovely meal. So we'll have a good Father's Day. Uh, so it'll take us like maybe five minutes to zip over to the farm place, and that's where I get all my steaks and stuff that I've done in the, the porterhouse, the T-bones. I do have another T-bone sitting in the freezer, uh, maybe even two, uh, that I want to do um, a food cooking thing on a on a stealth camp or something someday soon. Is this okay? Yeah. So uh, we'll see you at the farm store. Wish Carol well, eh? Wish her a speedy recover, recovery so she can help me with the dishes. <laughs>
Edwards Farm. Oh, buy a steak and seafood. Surf and turf. Hello. Good morning. This is where I get my meat. Tea bone. Let me get. Don't you touch it with your hand. What's it for? We buy so many eggs from these people. They said, what you really need is a chicken or two. <coughs> so yeah, Carol, Carol likes break her fast with uh, three or four eggs every day. And, and uh, I have two, at least two eggs in my salad every single day. So we go through a lot of eggs at our household. Anyway guys, we gotta get home, unpack all this stuff and uh, move on with the rest of our day. Stuff to do, people to see. TV to watch. Ciao.